The American Civil War ended nearly 150 years ago. Even so, there remains a loyal group of dedicated men and women who relive the events of the 1860s. One of these individuals is Mr. Doug Wilson, a Civil War reenactor with the 140th Pennsylvania. Doug was born and raised in Mercer County, Pennsylvania. After attending West Middlesex High School, he went on to graduate from Waynesburg College. Doug accepted employment with WANB Radio in 1992, where today he is an on-air personality and director of programming. He, his wife, and children live in Greene County. Why do you do these reenactments? What I do is a hobby. Um, it's like golf. It's like fishing. But just like a golfer, uh, you know, if I want a new piece of equipment, I have to pay for it. Um, we have to pay for our own black powder. Uh, a lot of things that people don't think about. We actually pay to do reenactments. The current unit you are involved with, yes. the 140th. Yes. How many people are involved with it, and how often do you reenact? Um, on paper, we've got about 40 to 45 members. To turn out for an event, we average between 10 and 15. On a really good reenactment, we'll have 20 men. As both a historian and a reenactor, what is your favorite Civil War battle, and why is it your favorite? There are two. Uh, the first would be uh, Chancellorsville, because that was the first time that the 140th actually saw action. Uh, and they performed well beyond the expectations of, uh, of anyone. The second would, would be the Battle of Gettysburg. Um, so those are the two. There, and then, uh, although it's not a battle, uh, the 140th actually had a sergeant at Appomattox Courthouse, who opened the gate for Robert E. Lee when he went in to meet with uh, General Grant. In lieu of the fact that the South got their butts kicked, <laughs> how do the Southern civilians treat you today when you come down as a Northern soldier? This is not going to be very politically correct, but not very well. They were reenacting Pickett's Charge and we were told the position that we were holding, no Confederate soldiers crossed the wall. But Southern reenactors have a tendency to want to rewrite history. On more than one occasion, we have uh, run into problems on the reenactment field where there's no other way to put it. They try to rewrite history. And unfortunately, there was a group who decided that they were going to come across our section of the wall. All I'll say is there were no Confederate reenactors that came across the wall where the 140th was positioned, and we'll just leave it at that.